Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Farah, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my May TBR hopeful reads. I don't know what to call it anymore. <laughs> Basically, I'm just giving you a tour of what I feel like I think I might read, but I probably won't read barely any of these. That's kind of really what it is. So uh, this these past couple weeks, I have been feeling a little bit burnt out from BookTube, a little bit burnt out from reading, watching BookTube, and making videos. And I think it's because uh, this, this is a really busy time for us. Uh, the spring, we have both kids that are in softball, and it's like working full time and then going right to these sporting events and practices. And I'm just not finding much time to film or Right now, for example, it's 11 p.m. on Friday night, and this is the only time I feel like I will have to make a video. So anyway, I'm going to try to keep it light and easy for May. Um, I may take a little time off during the summer as well, but for now, this are just a couple ideas based on some reading events going on that I may or may not get to, but they're on my radar. The first book that I already picked up that I'm almost halfway through and I'm really loving is called The Girl Who Fell From the Sky by Heidi Duro. And this is a book that is, it's reminding me a little bit of The Bluest Eye because we have our main character who's a young girl. She's about seven or eight years old and she is a biracial child with a Danish mom and an African-American dad. And she is a light-skinned biracial child with blue eyes. And it's kind of talking about her difficulties and her experiences of um, due to some circumstances that happened in her life, some tragic events. She's gone to live with her black grandmother in a sort of black community that she's not used to being in. And she's trying to figure out how she fits in and kind of navigate through these other kids that don't accept her. They, the black kids don't consider her to be one of them and the white kids don't consider her to be one of them. So it's, it's really, it's really good. I'm really enjoying this so far. So this is definitely what I'm going to be working on now. During May, there's also a reading event called Zombieathon, hosted by Cat's Novel Adventures. So I really hope that I can get to the first volume in the Walking Dead omnibus that I have. Um, it's up there, but I'll put a picture here. And I think this would be a great time to dive into that. Um, I love stories about zombies and I don't read them enough. And that's one book that I have on my shelves that I hope to get to. I do have a book on my shelf that's been sitting there for ages or that I would like to get to. And I'm just looking at the title from here. It's just called Snowflower and the Secret Fan by Lisa C. So I don't know much about this. I picked it up from uh, one of those little free libraries when I was on vacation a couple years ago. It's pretty short. Um, I believe it's historical fiction. Yeah, it takes place in 19th century China. Yeah, I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm gonna go blindly in and um, just see where we go with that. Another book that I hope to be working on as my nonfiction pick for the month is called Crossings, How Road Ecology Has Shaped you guys know me in subtitles, you'll see the picture here, but this actually is a book that I picked up because of a book club that I just joined. So this is a book uh, combination hiking group in my area, and um, I'm probably not going to make the first meeting because I barely have read a couple pages of this, but they have some really great environmental and conservation picks lined up for the summer. So I, I want to read all of them. I've never heard of any of them before, but I started the introduction on this and I, I really like it. It's kind of giving me Ed Yong vibes with an immense world. So I'm really hoping that I can just kind of pick my way through this during the month of May. It probably will extend out to June as well, but that is one of the, the more exciting books that I'm looking forward to as well. Um, I really hope I can finish The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. And this is a book that I started on audio in April. It wasn't working for me, so I switched over to physical. And I'm going to pick that back up once I'm done with The Girl Who Fell From the Sky. So that'll be my next physical book that I read. Next, I have a book that I borrowed from my brother that I would love to get to this month. And this will be the last book I mentioned because, again, I'm keeping it light. No pressure. But this is Fred Rogers, The Last Interview and Other Conversations with an Introduction by David Bayana Cooley. I love Fred Rogers. Like, you know how some people, if you're doing a Q&A, they'll ask, you know, what, who are some people that you would love to have dinner with? Who would you love to like interview? And it would be Fred Rogers. It's definitely one of them. Um, I just, I love um, what he did for children and children's programming here in the U.S. I think he's one of those people that if you were to physically be around him, you would feel this incredible loving energy for him. I just, I read one of his books. I think it was called The Good Neighbor. I read it before book two, but I absolutely loved it. 
Fred Rogers is just an incredible person in my mind and I hope I can get to this this month, pretty short. So those are just some of the ideas I have for the month of May. I wish I could add more to the TBR, but I just know realistically, I'm not gonna get to more than four or five of these books, but hope you guys enjoy this quick video. And if you've read any of these, please let me know and if you enjoyed them, but hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.